All right, here we go, and welcome along, everybody, to the Santa Claus F1 Streaming Festival Bash, and this streaming being the Twitch streamers, some of the most popular Twitch streamers you'll ever find on the planet, and lots of them are here this evening, and I am the Biggles. We're doing a, not a live broadcast, we're just doing a race highlights and all that sort of stuff for these gladiators out there to perhaps enjoy later. Can't do this alone, of course. I need my Jedi Wolfer with me. G'day, my friend. Jedi Wolfer, Jedi Wooda. Yep. Jedi Wooda. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Uh, yep, yeah, not so live this broadcast, but that's okay oh. by me. That's so that you can watch it their means... streams, my friend. And, 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 yes. and go, if you can open up 20 of your different devices and open up 20 different Twitch streams, or most of them are, you could watch all their re reactions and listen to them and stuff like that. We can't, unfortunately. I'll have the, to come back and watch them later. The BT will go wearing if you do that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, I can't ask everybody. The audio levels are okay, but I figure that they will be. As We're going to do one shot qualifying and then a five lapper for the first session in Bahrain, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, once they load in. Is it? It is Bahrain. Yeah, here we are. A yeah. nice sunny day on Bahrain. Very clear weather by the looks of it. Couldn't possibly tell you about how the race will be, but I suspect dry. This qualifying is going to be absolutely key, isn't it? With a, a grid of 20 drivers with five laps, you got yeah, to get Yeah, and bear in mind there. as well, it's only one shot to get a good lap. Yeah, so all you got to do is make one mistake. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And validations come thick and fast. I should be able to keep an eye on... Obviously, they, the times are going to be interesting through the first sector, but the, what's going to be crucial is going through the rest of the sectors. Once you get an idea of somebody pulling a bit of a lead there. Absolutely. And They're you've off. got to bear in mind as well, these long straights. Uh, not much time to be made in those straights so much, but uh, we can definitely make some time into the heavy braking zones of turn one. And going into turns two, important to run as wide onto that curve as possible going down the second main DRS straight now and keeping it tight towards the inside because you could take sector two yes currently it's sector two this is the in inner field here so you're sweeping left sweeping right and over to seven here to your left I'm aboard with the Red Bull drivers currently running P2 as sweeping around to the right hand spot the apex get on the power you have a little bit of a straight you come up to turn nine which is just a kink and then the all-important hairpin turn here of turn 10, because this is one you want to get really good, because you've got a little bit of a DRS straight coming up right now. Rear wing will open. And then you're going to get down to the sweeping 11, which you can take on, my friend. And going into 11, it's really important that you keep the grip through these corners, because you're going super wide and off camber going up this corner. Your rear is really screaming by this point if you've pushed in the earlier sectors. And it's super important to get a good exit down this final straight, or really second to final straight, uh, as you're now pushing all the way to the line, making sure not to scroll off too much speed into this final corner, and power all the way to the line, hanging it as far left as possible to keep the shortest possible distance, and there's the lap. And there's the lap from Philly, the quickest lap, a 127.3. My man that wrapped up a championship from one of the other leagues. So he's coming, he's coming rebounding back quite well from his week off or so, I think, with last week was where his championship was wrapped up. One of the leagues, of course, there's many of them. We did see Michael Massey come and go. I'm not quite sure he'd be a popular man on the grid right now, but anyway, it is what it is. Well, I think Michael Massey would probably be about 50% popular, depending on uh, which way you lean. If you want to read through those but, results uh, for us there, mate. Anyway, yep. here are our drivers. In P1, we've got Philly, P2, Bazzi for Red Bull. P3 is Nanj, followed by, oh dang, it's Yang. And Meraki in P5, followed by Spookats, Canadian Alpaca, Leiden, Bushy Ants, Average Joe, and I'm GB. Coming in 11th, followed by Dirk Chocolate in P12, Vince in P13, Major Nick 14th, Hannah Sophie in 15th, Ellie and Ash rolling up in 16 and 17, Huck 22 in P18, and El Taco Man rolling off the grid with no time set. Yeah, it looked like he was disconnecting in and out there for the Taco Man, so he's going to have to start at the back of the grid. And that's interesting at the moment there. So, Phil, you got a good lead there. But so, no, dang, it's Yang as well, his teammate. Pretty good. The Williams drivers of Nangsh and the other driver. So, this will be a five-lapper, so no pit stops required. Just absolutely gun it. Don't care about the tyres. 
it's all about really Bobby. sending it into fully sends into right turn foot one. all the way on the floor 70 percent of the lap i think are around this track i could be wrong on that stat but i'm pretty sure it's 70 percent of the lap is full throttle so they will be pushing those tires to the limits for these five laps for sure we're not even sure about what the what the rules and regulations are in terms of setups if they have to use their own setups so they're going to just use default setups that's just a, a fun christmas event this is not a serious competition of course although drivers are drivers my friend some of them out they will there, race their hardest they will race their hardest you're right now i wonder if they're going to take the brundle line just completely cut turn one save you a couple of seconds for sure you'll find, we'll out. find Go out to call it mate and five lights and the lights are out and away we go good start from our leader and just following behind amazing start from Dirk Chocolate who's P1 and a bit of a contact behind with the Alpine spinning that's Bushy Ants who's gone all the way to the back but Dirk's pulled a massive lead he's now almost seven and a half tenths in the lead followed by Bazzi and Meraki who's fighting very hard with Odang it's Yang P4 and just behind that I can see Alpine scuffling position as well and the Williams scuffling position again for that P3 position oh it's getting awfully close there isn't it oh it's got to be my friend because they've only got five laps to get it done now Jack Chocolate's been overtaken he's got that penalty for drive through that's why you're shooting out in front of everybody is that going to be an advantage or not we're going to find out in a second and there's uh, a few more big pile up going into that hairpin that's turn 11 isn't it and people are driving off track and all sorts of antics are going on in that sort of mid pack Still a massive scuffle position for, uh, well, all the way up to P6 down to maybe P14 is a scuffle position. But they seem to have sorted themselves out going into the third sector of this race. Yeah, they seem to so far. But you can see right now, is that Merlich and Nange? They're going for it, thinking fast down into the heavy braking zone here. And you've got to get on oh, idea. You've got Mr. IMGB hanging and lurking in the background. We'll go on board of him as they're going to go four abreast down the main straight for the second time, third time this evening, actually. We'll just start the third lap. Looks to me like that Williams team are getting in each other's way. Nan's really with the strip mm. team on his teammate, but he just can't get past. And they've been absolutely sent by Yang there. Not quite sure if he knows what he was doing there. Might have missed his braking zone. We don't know. And look where Philly's back. Eight positions. The man started on pole as they're going elbows out, grinding, crunching. Right now, that's IMGB. Or IMGB and Dirk. Now, if he's great British for a driver, well, he's also battling it out with another great British driver. And that's Mr. Dirk Chocolate. As they're allowing Breezy to get a little bit further up the road. Three seconds up the road, I think. He's already breezing his way into perhaps a victory here. As Philly's getting penalties left, right, and center, as you'd expect. Oh, and Canadian Alpaca just went in the back of uh, Major Nick. Uh, sort of knocked him offline. Canadian Alpaca made the move quite easy with that. Don't know if the stewards will be happy. Guess we'll find out. It's only a five lap, but so the stewards might not even have noticed with all this action going on. Malcolm Massey's already retired, my friend. He said, I've had enough of Formula One for one season. Let me have a break, put my feet up. I'll come back next one. So there's no marshals in this race right now. Just give it everything you got. Well, is somebody who doesn't care about penalties it's philly mp5 he is absolutely hunting Nange down to the ends of the earth Ooh, using crash. all the possible slipstream oh we have a crash crash who is it bushy ants off again yeah well i'm um, going back to philly again and is he gonna make that pass on the straight just going into the braking zone he's gonna go to the left oh switch back to the inside big braking zone and he's forced Nange wide that is a proper dive bomb. Don't know if I'd be happy with that if I was driving. <laughs> but, you know, it's racing. He's trying to make his way back up, of course. Man, it started on pole. Doesn't like being in that P4 position. I'll tell you what, my driver of the day so far is definitely IMGB because he's up nine positions, and you can see that on the graphic there because I'm no point in changing showing the tires or anything else. This Taco Man's just spun. He's trying to make a position up going into those points. I think he was going for P10 and he just got clipped on the inside of turn four. Really unlucky. I think that was a, a racing incident uh, nonetheless, but he was pushing from the very back. So you can't uh, blame him. I think he needed to, pro to, to apply Mr. Dirk Chocolate's approach there and just take that penalty wherever deck chocolate is pump last now at the moment anyway might not have worked but look what's working at the front there battle for the lead 
Oh, essentially just down the road, actually, from the lead. And I'm sorry if I'm misspelling it. Merkley. And we know this man's... Merkley, I think. Merkley, yes. And IMGB, just going at it. Yeah, I am the destroyer of people's names, so I apologise about that one. Non-stop running. We do have a sector three yellow flag. Another incident, maybe? Nope, the yellow flag is cleared already. Never mind with that. Looking back at this battle for P2, the Alpine's got a massive run on him. Is he going to make a move? No. That's Maybe expecting a harder defence from Meraki and hoping he could take that outside line. Looking for a switch back, perhaps, going onto the main straight. Or maybe after the DRS and making a move into turn four. Uh, don't lots of, <laughs> lots of wiggling. <laughs> Not sure if that's in the rule book, but we'll allow it. Perhaps trying to break a bit of slipstream going through to the second sector. Yeah, you won't get the DRS from Rubber until essentially, the, well, this lap now is where you get it. And it, it, it's, it does have really, oh, look at that. It's. Uh, Mighty tapping, so get out of my way, my friend. He's pushing him along, isn't he? Yeah, he's got it. Elbows out, of course. I'm not, I'm not sure about damage on these cars. It doesn't look like they have it turned well, on. I would be mad if they did. I'll tell you what, it's a pretty close battle. Uh, P4, uh, Philly's has been reeled in, as has P5. Perhaps even Canadian Alpaca and P6 is going to get in that action. It's such a close battle for uh, just one position on the podium, really, isn't it? It could be anyone's game at this point. It is. Philly's also announcing two seconds penalties. We don't know what the situation of penalties are going to be or not because it's just one of these social races. I'm sure there will be nothing going to the stewards later on. Well, I'll tell you what. With only one lap to go, uh, the top, well, from second all the way to fifth, only split by one second. And IMGB is going for a move. It's a pretty easy move with that slipstream. Of course, it's extra 12 to 14 kilometers per hour. Or is it miles per hour? I can't remember. It's kilometers. But yeah. uh, now he doesn't have the slipstream, or does he? Uh, no, he does not have the slipstream going down the next main straight, but he seems to have a big enough gap to Meraki to stay safe for the moment. Yeah, Brazzy. And is Brazzy's Brazzy Ooh, as well? Oh, getting a bit, into bit this wiggly. One. Yeah, just checking that one out there with the Canadian alpaca. I've never seen a Canadian alpaca, but I'm now seeing one driving a Formula One car at high speeds around Bahrain, that's for sure. I'll tell you, they can make animals do some pretty crazy things nowadays, can't they? He's going to be starting the alpaca lap, so I'd say, for the Canadian driver. If he can get that oh, job done. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have a friend that actually, she's a ventriloquist and she uses an alpaca, so oh, she's got all the references. She's uh, been to the conventions as well, too, in the States. Anyway. Oh, Spookats had a big old spin. Resets the track. I think that's probably allowed then. Uh, just maintaining P15. Uh, but he's been caught up pretty quickly by Ellie, and he's gone wide, probably because of those hot tyres, and he's just gone right into a barrier. Oh, you got to feel for the man. <laughs> yeah, on the last lap, on the last corner right now of the last lap will be the Red Bull driver. Somehow, when's the last time we've seen a Red Bull cross the line and win a race? Well, we are going to see one right now, winning the first of the exhibition Santa Claus Twitch Streaming Festival Bash. I think I am GB, we get that P2, well, driver of the day for sure, P11 to P2. Bring it at home there, and uh, Merkley, I think it was. No, I'm going to screw that up. Get that P3 position there. So the drivers of Philly, you know, Dang, it's Yang, didn't quite get the positions that they wanted. we still got some of the yeah. other gladiators coming in. Jack Chocolate looks like he might for her will be getting the Wooden Spoon Award. Otmar Sefna certainly is going to be having words in the paddock tonight, isn't he? I'll tell you that much, because... One of his drivers has lost five places, but kind of you to blame. I mean, it's only a five lapper, and perhaps he just didn't push that extra mile. We don't know. That's true. It's all about the qualifying, but even so, it goes to show you, doesn't it, that that man or woman, I'm quite sure, by the way, <laughs> was the driver of the day, but not the winner, not the winner, of course. This Red Bull the winner track. today is Bazzi, yeah. uh, starting obviously P2 and finishing in that P1 position. A win for Red Bull, like you say, very rare these days. Uh, but nonetheless, a pretty good looking grid. We've got in P1 Bazzi, followed by IMGB and Meraki rounding off the podium. P4 just missed the podium. Nanj for a Williams podium. That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Alpha Tauri, and then two Aston Martins in P6 and P7. Uh, Leiden in P8, followed by Major Nick and Average Joe rounding off the points positions.
Bushy Ants and El Takaman, uh, P11 and 12, followed by Hannah Sophie in P13 and Ash Vandalay in 14. Uh, my game is glitched, so I can't go any further down than that, but I'm sure you can round it off, Biggles. Yep, Ash Vandalay, we got F F1 LE, Hacker, we got Vince the Gamer, Spookats, Spookats, Cats that uh, put this event on as well. Congratulations to him and Dirk Chocolate. So it was actually pretty good for the Altaco man coming back, I think, after those early problems from P19, getting up into P12, just missing out on the points, of and course. remember as well, he had that spin. So, yeah. you know, it's a really good uh, recovery drive, considering, because you could have expected he could be last. But uh, he has made it all those positions. Almost back to the points. Uh, and only in five laps. Goes to show you that Altaco power does work, as we're going to go one shot in Imola right now, I believe. So that'll be interesting. It's a relatively new track, but I believe some of these F1 streamers out there have kind of been around there a few times. Should be pretty familiar with this track by now. Imola, of course, being a track that I thoroughly dislike as a driver uh, because of its uh, extreme grip limitations. You've got to really make sure that you're pushing those limits, but not pushing it too hard because on those medium speed corners especially the off camber ones uh, you can lose the rear so easily around here which I'm and sure in five laps that's going to be crucial well which i'm sure during the qualifying session we might see that occurring as well or even the invalidations yeah we will definitely find out in just a minute or so whether they're selecting setups or stuff but obviously out there you guys would have already been hopefully watching and following these gladiators as they're streaming all this on their Twitch. Because we're not, this is just a highlights for recordings for later. So no doubt. Of course, you, you can watching. search all these guys up on twitch.tv uh, slash whatever, depending on who you want to check out. Of course, uh, everybody here is a Twitch streamer, aren't they, Biggles? Mostly. I'm mostly allowed to say. I'd say 99% of them. Do we have any yeah. YouTubers or fellow content creators? That's for sure. Uh, that is something that I'm not 100% sure yet. <laughs> I'm relatively new. Obviously not relatively new to commentating. F1 races. I've commentated a lot of, a, lot of, a few, a handful of these great people out there. Members of the community, of course, too. Supporting the F1. So also getting into other racing. I racing. You would have seen Jack Chocolate do before. You're really getting into that. So is Yang, Philly, there's a few of the other. And I don't, I'm not quite familiar with everybody, but I'm sure you guys out there are. Have your certain fans and things like that? Certain, who's your favorite Twitch streamer? Folks to support for sure. The what, sorry? Folks to support. Never mind. Yeah. I did. <laughs> well, I'm usually used to live audiences where you're engaging with people in the chat and stuff too, but that's not the case right now. For us, we're doing it pre-recorded. Of course, the uh, culture barrier getting between myself and Biggles. Yes. Australian versus the United Kingdom. Everybody knows who wins there. Of course, the uh, cricket on the oh, moment, yeah. isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys are thrashing us. Oh, I haven't been watching, mate. I wouldn't. Oh, it's been I wouldn't all over be the news here. It's, it's a, a national tragedy. <laughs> you guys have thrashed us before. Uh, and, it swings around about, swings around about. You are thrashing us in Formula One. However, you didn't thrash my boy Oscar, who wrapped up the F2 championship. Uh, it is a shame about Oscar. I think he should have his seat in Formula One already. But, uh, you know. Be good for a, a, year, a year off, my friend, just to get a, you know, a handle around the new car and see Ooh, how and that pans we're out. we're here in Imola and it does look cloudy to me don't you think Biggles it does mate cloudy with a chance of uh, some twitch sweat perhaps I'm trying I really am sometimes <laughs> I have the puns it's like difficult to come up with the puns when you have a short period of time as well too one shot qualifying cloudy with a chance of spinala spinala <laughs> there it is so they're just loading their setups in and they're gonna get ready here we go so you get the honors my friend who to call? Oh, my word. Okay. Well, let's follow the Mercedes of Ash Vandele as she goes down the main straight. Having a oh. bit of a wiggle. Uh, no need to do that. He'll obviously scrub some speed. Going into the first corner, it's important through this first sector to not break too hard because you really want to carry through all the speed going through. And for the next few sectors, I'm going to follow uh, IMGB as we go through again. 
more uh, rear limited corners. Obviously, Sergio Perez knows just how bad it can get there. Uh, super important corner. Michael Schumacher obviously making an amazing air take around that hairpin going into uh, the second sector of the track. Uh, a really strange off-camera corner. You can easily go wide there, as some of our folks have. Uh, going through now to Aqua Minerale. Oh, uh, bit of a wiggle uh, through there for sure. And coming up to a super important chicane. You really want to bump these curves as much as you can to carry the speed through. Some of our drivers doing that better than others. But not to worry, because you can make up even more time in the next two 90 degree exact corners left and left again onto the main straight so you really want to get as early on the throttle as possible and hanging it all the way to the right and going across the line but yeah, there we go it. it is it's a double Aston Martin uh, one and two so Otmar Safna much happier after that than he certainly was at the end of Bahrain five lap sprint Yep, shaking and uh, definitely not stirred for the double, double 07 duo there of Odang and Yang and Philly doing it for the Aston Martins there. And IMGB, once again, they're up the top there with these Gladiators, Alpine Williams, again, doing a very good qualifying performance. Bushy Ants there and the other Alpine. And there's your Red Bull McLaren, Haas and AlphaTauri running outside your top 10. Rain is forecasted for this five lap race. So if you didn't think it was tricky enough to battle your way with 20 of the cars, well, 18 of them right now, we seem to have lost a couple of people. But yeah, they're going to try to do it in the tricky wet conditions. And whether it'll be a full remember as well, yeah. like I had mentioned earlier, this is a grip limited track for sure. We didn't have too many spins in qualifying, which did surprise me, although there were a couple of moments. Um, but with the wet weather and well, 18 drivers pushing their very hardest. You could expect perhaps a bit of a mess, maybe not into turn one, but at some point, I have a feeling there might be contact. Oh, really? I would never have predicted that at all, of course. These are good, these are good <laughs> honest, fair sportsmanship drivers out there, boys and girls, of course, which is great to see a, l a lot of the ladies out there on the field. And they've certainly got some pace as well. I tell you what, they can be running laps around me for sure with the pace that I have. And, of course... Uh, Gaining traction in real life as well is the uh, W Series, as we've got yeah. three lights, four lights, and five lights. And a bit of a slow one as the lights go out, and both of our drivers get a pretty decent start. You can't really tell in this wet weather, sometimes they're a bit slow off the launch. Although, Philly and Odangisian going side by side until Philly concedes P1. Sort of pushing Yang through the corner is a Red Bull oh. just sends the lot of them. He's forgotten to break. Or perhaps the uh, water was just too much for him and he aquaplaned all the way along that main straight. But what that has done is given a sort of bowling ball effect to the cars that were following those two Aston Martins. And they've almost pulled out a second. I wonder if they'll work together to uh, pull the rest of the way. Although, IMGB and Bushy Ants, uh, the two Alpines right behind, certainly aren't going to let that happen too easily. Average Joe putting a bit of a not-so-average on the back there of Mr. Dirk Chocolate. Yeah, they all are in a chat, believe it or not, if they're all, if, you're, if you are currently following, which I hope you are, their Twitch chats right now. Whichever one you want, you can probably hear all of them as they're streaming their difficult conditions around this track right now, and it's difficult, but Dirk Chocolate and Average Joe, but they are side by side. This is going to be good wheel to wheel racing here, isn't it? Climbing but he's way. missed the turning point. He's gone straight on. Oh, and Dirk's. He's spinning all around. He's got into the side of Nanj as well. Poor Dirk just can't quite find the grip levels in his wet conditions. He's just been coming off eye racing, so this is just a different ball game right now, isn't it? It's just a different kettle of fish to handle. And, you know, he's probably Absolutely. like, okay, this is like, I'm going from a real sim to a, you know, trying to be a, real, a sim, arcade sim per se, let's say. Arcade but, sim, yeah. I would say. Yeah. But looking good for Mr. L Light on there, four positions again. Sorry if I am calling anybody Mr. or Mrs. I do some know that there are a lot of lovely ladies out here doing their best. So I just and call, I call talking of some lovely ladies that yeah. are doing their best, we do have some of them fighting for position at the back. At the back, F1 Ellie just trying to hunt down Hannah Sophie, of course, to our lovely ladies, uh, rounding up 14th and 15th. But looking just above them, Spookats in P13. I mean, a little bit of a scuffle with his own teammate, McLaren. Uh, oh, man, until yeah. he had that moment. <laughs> That's for sure. Taco Man back up there again. His qualifying performance has been letting him down. I mean, he's also a 
Xbox stream, I believe, or PlayStation. But apologies if we get that one wrong there, Mr. Taco Man. But you are also on console. So you can jump on the PC as well. Every once in a while, has to jump on a PC, obviously, with everybody else this evening. But well, this. I'm yep. seeing a big battle coming up ahead. P6 and P7. Only two tenths separating them, of course, in the wet. And Meraki's just got a better launch out of that uh, chicane. He's gone for the sort of switchback, uh, but it's certainly not over yet. Bazzi going back down the inside as Meraki locks up. And good thing, too, because Bazzi might have forced him wide if he didn't. But Meraki's having none of it. He's pushing him right onto the gravel there, onto the main straight. And, of course, that's going to affect Bazzi's acceleration, which is super important here, especially in the wet. It's where you really don't have that cornering speed to gain as much time. But Bazzi does have that slipstream. He is close enough still. And this battle probably will continue going through the next couple of sexes. It should. Unless it should. Meraki can break that slipstream, which it looks like he might be. He might just have that pace advantage. The gap almost up to a second now. Yeah, but no DRS is enabled, of course, because we're at an inter-race. Average Joe, I think, just got past Dirk Chocolate. They've been at it for a little bit of time right now, haven't they? And I think they're going to still continue to be at it. As there it is, Average Joe averagely going into the sand. A bit of a lock up there as well. So I guess some of them are using their regular anti-lock, no, anti-lock racing. Background, Mr. And Taco, man. Yep. McLarens are back at each other, aren't they? Look at that. Same place as last lap, but no moments this time. Spookats, perhaps? Maybe wondering for some team orders, going on the radio, no, shouting team orders. at... Uh, Absolutely no team orders today. I would imagine in a five-lap sprint event like this, you just go for it. I'm sure Philly wants to get past Odang and Chiang as much as possible. They're not going to be just like, you know, buddies and, and gentlemen agreements, nothing like that. It's 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 absolutely elbows out. You want to just... It's all for the glory here. Doesn't matter if they're teammates. No. Bit of a scuffle for P3 and 4. They're really going slow. I'm GB slowed right down there. He's made a mistake. Yeah. And you can't make a mistake right now in five lappers because look at this. Bazzi is ready to pounce. That's the man that finished the, the, the one of the so last race. So it Is he going to get double overtaken? That's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Oh. oh. <laughs> but it's a bit of a Hamilton Verstappen moment. Leiden really coming off the worst. Getting pushed all the way off track onto the grass. You don't want to do that to those tyres. Yeah, you need to make one more uh, luck to go to him. Elbows are absolutely out. You'd expect that. Well, Christmas cards, I'm not sure if they're going to be exchanged between these drivers at the moment for this Christmas event. Now, of course, they're all having fun, remember. They're not taking this as too seriously because well, it's just an exhibition event. Average Joe. Talking of Christmas cards, some of these drivers are going to be definitely licking the stamp and sending them. <laughs> oh, there it is. Average Joe, of course, one of those drivers wanting to do that. Is he looking for a send up the inside? Not quite this time, but he certainly will be looking for a, a place to make a position. He's been quite frustrated by Dirk Chocolate for the last couple of laps now. Dirk going wide there once again. Does Average Joe get the better launch? Go around him and Michael Messi getting making it very messy. Getting right in the way of Dirk there. And Joe taking the line. That is the line you want to take. Scrub off as little speed as possible. The line you don't want to take is the one that Spookat's just did. And Michael Messi as well. Because look at Akal Taco, man, putting a massive amount of pressure on Dirk Chocolate. Massive lockup, too, for the McLaren driver. He's got to be careful because Michael Messi is in the background there. He's got the bird's eye view from a stewarding team. And there's El Taco, man, going a little bit too squirrely whirly. He's trying to Christmas. El Taco, man, there, yeah. getting perhaps a bit frustrated. Almost worried that he might get sent onto the gravel. Uh, I certainly would have been if I was in that position. Certainly a bit of sweat, uh, for sure. Michael Messi, maybe looking at a pass on his teammate there. Dirk just not quite getting the acceleration out of the corner. Although Messi just almost losing it there as well. Looking at Nunge and, and Bassi going out. It looks like Nunge got nunged his way past. And got that. Nothing really happening at the front uh, at the moment. There's a bit of a gaps. This is where all the excitement is. We'll have to go back to Michael Messi, of course, because he's been under the spotlight recently. He's under the spotlight again here in Italy, San Marino. Certainly is a bit of a mess. Is he going to make a mess of an overtaken attempt on his teammates? You don't want to be upsetting Franz Tost. I've heard the things he can do. He can Ooh. complain to Helmut Marco, that's for sure. And yeah, that's they're tapping. these drivers <laughs> really are tapping each other. It's a bit of a friendly dodge. Hey, mate, look, I'm here. I'm going to make a move on your inside, whether you like it or not. I'll have to go, no doubt. And he does lick the stamp and he sends it. Sorry, Fun There's Philly a from Christmas Bush. card from Michael Messi. Oh, he did get it. Yeah, exactly. We'll go back down to that. Sorry, I had to cut to the guys that actually did finish across there. Bushy. That's okay. Bushy Ant's got P3. I gained P3, like three positions up in a P3 there. 
the Merkley. And usual suspects back up there, but by IMGB dropping three. That's unusual. But Average Joe, Average his way. Oh, there's, there's a crash, of course, across the line. Average Joe dropped back down to the penalties, but just pushed himself now out of the any points paying position, although they're not going to get points paid for this one. Just a little bit of pride will be paid. Well, the Aston Martin drivers definitely have gelled their way together and bonded perfectly, haven't they? Absolutely. But let's quickly talk about uh, Bazzi, I think. Uh, our previous race winner finished in P8. What's that going to do to him in the championship standings? If we are looking at such a thing, uh, certainly not going to be P1 anymore. I think possibly Yang or Philly might be tough in the championship after today's performance. Not it's quite sure. I'm not quick with the maths. But, this will uh, be my last one, my friend, so I don't know quite sure if you do have your Steam Labs or anything open, and if you want to continue and record it, by all means, please do. You'll just have to commentate alone, unfortunately, but you're already in the lobby. You could record it. I have to go because I have a league race to do. And no, I, no, I think that's good. Yeah. You could probably just send it, send that through. I've probably got to go find something to eat but myself. You, Bushy but, has found um, his sum for the driver of the day. As Odega Chiang has found himself. Look at that podium. Two Aston Martins at the top. Could drive. Absolutely. Netflix are here saying that was a drive to survive, especially in those conditions. Wasn't it? Odega Chiang gets the fastest lap too. From Philly, Bushy Ants there in the Alpine right at the top ten. Sorry, top three, the podium this evening. And that was... Uh, he got to go down. Dirk Chocolate got to call his way back up, didn't he, after a poor start before. But gets into the points there. Just had a taco, man. That was really battling it out too for now with them, as well as Bazzi. Michael Messi was a little bit messy around there. Ellie, you got Hans Sophie, Average Joe was in the mix there. Vince the Gamer, Ash Vandelay, and Major Nick. Round out your drivers and round out our little highlights of this. Thank you very much there, Mr. Jetty. Anything you would Thank like you to say? Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, it's absolutely thing I want to say. Of course, make sure to check out all these amazing creators uh, in today's lobby. Welcome back, everybody, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I was muted at the moment, so there it is. I just finished up commentating a race. I might very well still be in a voice chat. My apologies about that. Please mute me if I am in another league race chat, stuff like that. But I'm back commentating this fun. Oh, my God. I just came out of Monaco, and I can't believe how torrentious this rain is coming down right now. Well, Monaco is the jewel of the crown. I'm not quite sure if you want to have the jewel of a downpour crown right now because this is not just inter-territory. This is going to be absolutely full boat wet tires. Boating is what you need. I think you need one of those multi-million dollar yachts down there in the bay to get your way around this two-mile track in a 19 corners of absolute pain that's going to be. Well, they're just going to go. They're going to absolutely go for it. There's no formation lap. There's nothing. Just absolute carnage and death and destruction, unfortunately, for these drivers. And say just left, right, instead of binning it into the wall, some of the drivers are just cutting straight through there and saying, you know what, I'm not, I'll be a part of this. I don't even know where to break. I don't even know where to get this car around these corners. They are trying somehow. So Bushy Ants has got it done there for Merkin and at Major Nick. you got Vince the Gamer there dropping two places. And there's a massive carnage you can see at the back there. All those people driving Philly, Ange. Average Joe, Odegas Yang getting a couple of positions. Taco Man's in the mix there in the middle of the walls. What's happening on here? Dirk Chocolate, there's Rug parked up. Nowhere to go. They're going to have to do reverses to get around there as all the other cars are coming through here. Right, usual red flag conditions, but not in this case right now because Davidge, I think, has turned off, thankfully. And we still have 15 of these gladiators, these Twitch gladiators, trying to make their way around this track as they go through the tunnel. No, there's carbon fiber flying everywhere, so there's definitely damage is turned off. As, oh, they're almost murdering each other of Brazzy there and Major Nick. And that's kind of a lot of bushy ants there. The average Joe's DNF'd. We've got uh, another DNF there from Nanj. Odang is around. Yang is going around somewhere, I think, stuck on track. Very hard to keep an eye on these cars because I can barely see them on all that spray. But she's actually boxing for the lead of this race, which is interesting. So that's going to allow the Alfa Romeo driver to cruise on through to the pits as well. There's a five lapper, so obviously they don't have to box, but there's damage left, right, and center. Everybody, everybody at the moment is going to be in this very, very busy tight pit lane. They are all going in this pit lane. Absolutely amazing. The damage is just insane. Only one driver, I think, right now, the house driver, is having a bit of a tangle there too. I think with Bushy Ants coming out of the pit lane right now. So he might have just resumed the lead of this race. He has because of the pit lane. 
because everybody else boxing. And this is the only man yet to box. But believe it or not, the drivers have gone on to soft tyres. So we know it's something they don't know. They're just having fun. Oh, wow. This Bushy just getting completely annihilated, of course, because he's come back out on the soft tyres. There it is. I don't know what the strategy call is there. Soft tyres in a full weight race. Interesting call for that. This is just <laughs> absolutely crazy. Well, it is the Twitch social event, and they're certainly having a lot of fun with this. And if, that's, if that is the call out there, if you do make a pit stop, you do have to come back out on the soft tyres. Fair enough, for Dangus Yang still struggling on the wets. You can imagine how it feels on those soft tyres. Well, the only way to find that out is to go to that man in P2. This tank slap in the walls left, right and centre. Lost a little bit of parts for that Alpine. Barely get it around to the turns 13 and 14 in swimming pool complex right now. He's going to be, well, I'll tell you what, the swimming pool is probably more drier than this track is currently at the moment as Yang makes his way up into P3. Looks like Mr. Linden's boxing, so that could be the rule of thumb. You're going to have to do one pit stop in this five lapper, and that goes on to the dry tyres, perhaps. I did come in a little bit late, so I didn't quite get the memo on this one. Yeah, they are. So that must be the rule of thumb, that they have to come back out on the soft tyres. That's interesting. Ash Vandele's are boxing, and Odangus Yang is boxing, Bushy Ants is boxing. And that's interesting. What are they going to go on to? Yeah, that's the soft tyres. That's the call. That is the call. And I guess you can make an alternate pit stop, an extra pit stop, and then go back into the... for some wet tyres. As long as you... Wow, I'm seeing cars go the opposite direction down there. Absolutely insane. What is... I've just jumped into here. Oh, the rain's not easing off. That's for sure. Vince the Gamer, P7's boxing. So it's only bushy at the moment on those wet tyres, and look at that. Let's just take it, everybody for breakfast, driving around the outside, of course, for Bashy. Not a problem whatsoever. He has made his pit stop, so he did go onto the softs. He had to suffer the pain of that, and he's come back out onto the wets. So he's made his second pit stop this evening, and now, clearly, in the lead of this race, as everybody else is tiptoeing over their array around on these tyres in these horrendous conditions. Look at the retirements. Ash, Tucker, man. Spukats, uh, Average Joe, Nange, and Merkley. I'll get your name right. I do apologise if I get it wrong. But that is the current situation through Monaco as looks like I'm GB just goes straight through the Neville chicane and tank slapping into the wall as well. And losing a little bit of carbon fibre to the right-hand side, as you can see. You're going to need a little bit of that. Philly's out. Well, she's got back in. Interesting. Some dry tires, perhaps. Yeah, they are. Some nice, dry, fresh, grippy, red, white, striped tires in the car, front wing change. And, well, gonna lose a couple of places, but let's see if that's the right strategy call this evening. And he should still come back out ahead of Bo Dang, it's Yang that's now coming down the main straight. As, yeah, Bush E Wheel. Get back out ahead, but now he's set there. And there's I'm GP <laughs> bend it into the wall. Absolutely bend it into the wall. There's no way you're gonna get that car out of there. Good marshals around here in Monaco. They get all the cranes as you can see there to get rid of these cars that are stricken on here as there's carbon fiber everywhere. I wouldn't want to be a Jaguar right now. We've had a very expensive jewel on the front wing somewhere that might go missing to a marshal. We've seen that before in the past, haven't we? So there he is. Yeah, he was just drifting his Red Bull around. And just a little bit further around the corner there is Linden. And there is Yang drifting his way a little bit too much around the corner. Reset the track, of course, get back out there because Bushy Eds is coming around the corner, coming up soon. You can just see through the Grand Hotel hairpin. And we are left with seven people left. Tech Chocolate still, believe it or not, in this race, but he's a minute and change down the road. But hey, a minute and change in Monaco when you can barely get a car around a track isn't that far. Unfetched, as you can see right now. Linden just having a bit of a tank slapping, doing a, well, a Charles Leclerc. Look at that, there's front wings everywhere. That's just absolutely struggling. There's no front wing on this house. And I wouldn't want to be losing a front wing on a house as Bush Ants has gone out somewhere too. Because Hash don't Hass Hass probably don't have any front wings left down there in the garage. 
They've spent all their front wings for the next year's car. And let's have a look at Vince the Gamers. If he can't even can't even break there through the Noble Chicane, just goes straight on. Well, Brassy Bassy's now leading this race. He's also got the fastest lap, 130.1. But he's on the last lap. He's gonna, believe it or not, a there's another stricken car. And that will be Mr. Dirk Chocolate trying to get that car around the corner, just basically wall riding it because it's got no traction whatsoever. And you kind of need that in a Formula 1 car. Kind of need that on this glorified go-kart track here at Monte Carlo. But Bassi, he's just got a couple more corners really to go as he goes through the tunnel. And let's see if he goes straight on through the Nerva chicane. Yeah, not even risk it. Not even get the breaking point. And now just bring that car home. He's the only man that's boxed once. I believe we're just going to use some of that telemetry most of the drivers have. Believe it or not, Yang's for P15 up at a P2, so he certainly will get the driver of the day, no doubt, from Cody's. And if you can see the McLaren, sorry, the Mercedes crawling its way around the final Los Rascos and around the final corner, it gets it out of the wall. Somehow, this man has driven to survive his way five laps into horrendous conditions of Monte Carlo and has done it to win the race. Oh, dang, it's Yang. Tell still wall riding. He's got a wall ride because he's got the Hask coming a little bit behind him now. Yang's yeah, got to hold it in here to get the driver of the day. 15th up into second with the extra pit stop as well on top of it. He could very well do it. It doesn't matter. There's Dirk Chocolate up ahead. He's got to get around Dirk Chocolate. He's got to be very careful because the Haas is behind him. The Haas has got no front wing. Dirk Chocolate's got to block him. What's going to happen behind? As Dirk Chocolate's got to just get that, push that car across the track. And Adagas Yang does get that P3. Oh, that's going to feel good, doesn't it? Just for the Haas, but as Dick Chocolate, I think it's almost reversing across the line right now, being a lap down. Only the Ferrari driver and the Alfa Romeo driver yet to endure the final couple of corners of pain to finish this race. Somehow finishing this race has got to feel really good. That in itself would be a victory of all victories, I'd have to say. You'll get a handshake with the Crown Prince of Monte Carlo just for seeing the final checkered flag, I'd have to say. As we're still waiting, believe it or not, for Vince the Gamer to get the job done, as he has finally there, and we're still waiting for Major Nick just to get that car, because just push it, tippy-toe, it's just a little bit tippy-toe. There you can see just a whole bunch of front wing from O'Dang, it's Yang. That's it, and that wraps up what would have to be a crazy, crazy, Monte Carlo race. Something along the line, you're going to have to need to get up in that casino there and swig a couple of glasses of champagne just to realize what just happened. The Dang is Yang. We'll get that driver of the day, no doubt, because the P15 up into P2 for the Red Bull is the, definitely the drive to survive. But yeah, that is Bazzi. So he did it. The McLaren driver also got the fastest lap, so he's no slouch. And his fastest lap, mind you, was a 130.1. That was the practically about 10 seconds left quicker than everybody else there is best type was 135 actually from yang that are your results i don't even know what to say that was just absolutely carnage but still we have to have winners we have to have losers we only had five drivers that six drivers so sorry they finished the race but they finished the race there in style that will be your monaco race Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another social event for this Christmas with our favourite uh, F1 Twitch streamers. I'm, of course, joined here with Biggles, who's an Australian in Panama. Hello, Biggles. How are Hello. you doing? I wanted to know who you were, Miss, my friend. Uh, well, you, you forgot your everybody name. Everybody knows who I am, of course. The <laughs> most famous of all Jedi, Jedi Wooda, uh, joining Biggles, of course, for these five lappers which have been made into oh. three lappers i've just seen oh, so wow. these are properly good. insane yeah. races yeah mr el taco man uh, a, a brilliant a brilliant guy uh practically a, a recent streamer really that's starting to boom and into the strip twitch streaming world and absolutely fantastic guy makes mean tacos as well so make sure you check it him he's now the host and he's debating with everybody else because they're all in the same vc as to what to do because you know rules are out, out the window here <laughs> right now it's just so uh, Go for gold, go for whatever you want. If you catch that Monaco race that I just had to do before by myself uh, with, because I know you were busy, uh, just coming back and off a league Monaco race. It was just before that. I was just, okay, I needed a breather. I need somebody to help me, and I'm glad to have you there. I always just call you Jenny Wolfer. I always forget there's a D there and not 
an F. An F. It does look very similar, doesn't it? The D and the F. Yeah. At least it's not Jedi Wubba. That'd be very embarrassing. You still are, uh, B. You still have the Force with you, I believe. I, I'll tell you what. It's I've been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have El France, El Paul Ricard, to do a. Are they are they straight to a race or are they three lappers? I didn't quite catch what the jazz was going on. There. On the loading screen, it says multiplayer race, but that's always a bit uh, give or take. I actually don't know. Myself. You'll have to get ready for a race start. I think immediately off the bat here. An immediate race start. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, talk about jumping right into it. We've got thirty seconds yet still to talk about some stuff. So um, let's talk about perhaps some of the amazing creators in this lobby. Yeah, some of the massive ones right now, haven't they? Dirk Chocolate, still one of the one of the the men, one of the top dogs. One of the the, the big lads. Uh, is he driving a McLaren? He is a big McLaren fan in real life. I know. Uh, should be. I'd imagine. A fan of the old Lando. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. So five lights and lights out and away we go. And immediately off the bat, absolute carnage as Vince the Gamer and Dirk Chocolate head off. And it appears that track limits are off. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a poor Ricard, of course, track limits off. So that's going to be who practices? Who practices the, the track limits oh, off? And oh, there's massive somebody's... collisions. Holy moly. <laughs> That's the Everyone's car. getting a break. It's different. Of course, you, uh, you you don't quite know where to break, if to break at all. I mean, this is Paul Ricard, no track limits. So, of course, uh, watching Vince and Dirk. Oh, uh, just, he's just been brake checked. I think this could be no stewards here. <laughs> you know, get rid of all steward deliberations. This is what Max Verstappen really wanted to do to Lewis. Oh, wasn't it? There's a, yeah, this is a. This is a drive to survive, exactly right, because Yang, it looks like Vince the Gamer. Actually, I'm on board of Yang. I was Vince the Gamer, I think, Average Joe, as they're just taking out all the styrofoams. There's Bushy And we just lost uh, Pien as well, just gone straight on. I don't know what's happened to that poor fella. Yeah, every money I've gone right now, every one of these gladiators is basically spinning. But believe it or not, well, the Red Bull are the leader of this race. Yeah, Red oh. Bull are our leaders. Everybody knows Red Bull, kings of dirty driving. Oh. Uh, Total for Tony Argy, so. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. I'm sorry. And so, to all yeah, your Red Bull fans I hope watching. They don't, they don't uh, need the braking markers because they're all destroyed right now. Not that they are braking. <laughs> oh, there's a braking zone uh, going around. Well, I guess the new turn one. Um, <laughs> oh, and Yang just lost it there. Completely off track. Now, one technicality worth mentioning is the blue and red stripes at Paul Ricard. And I don't know if this is in the game or not, but of course you do get increased tire wear if you go over those stripes. Yeah, I do know in that. In the real world. Do you know what they mean as well? Uh, yeah, it's like sandpaper, right? Yeah, it's like a tungsten material they put in there. So the red ones were slow, supposed to slow the car down a little bit. Remember, because there's no runoff gravel trap barriers here. That's what it is. So that's the only thing that's going to separate you in the, in the barriers. So the white is less. The blue. Oh, oh, what man. a crash. Taco Man just sends the inside there. That is a proper McLaren Mercedes argument there. It is a good battle, but for P2, really. In this Drive to Survive oh. series, not sponsored by Netflix. It's, it looks like it's yeah, it goes straight through the middle there. And somehow, as always, tried to take out the Ferrari. Remember, they are trying to kill your opponents here. And he's trying to help Philly out if he can kill him, but he's got a little bit swirly woolly. Let me just remind you of something a bit strange here, Biggles, because uh, I think Nand is lost. He's going the wrong way. He's, um, he's decided that he's going to go uh, yeah. backwards on the track. Uh, oh, no, he's turned around now. He must have locked onto his target, whoever it is oh, that he's there chasing you go. Yang's down. Oh, Yang's gone. Yang's gone. Yang's gone. Take, take, take Breezy, but Breezy. But I think Brazzy's a little bit too clever for that one. There oh. is, oh, another one. And that looked like that was Nange coming back in there and trying to help take him out. He, uh, lapped Aston Martin has decided. He is going to just sit by the finish line, ready to take out the leader as he comes for his finishing lap. So let's have a look at this and see what happens here. Because Billy might try and cross the line only to be blocked by an impeding Aston Martin. Let's see, yeah, if, if I'm GB can do something about stopping this Red Bull from winning this race currently. It's the last lap. It could be the last time these guys ever see a Formula One car outside of a hospital bed. We'll find out, won't we? No, he's actually moving, so I'm, G I'm yeah, there he is, so I feel like we'll get it. 
will cross the line, I think, right now. Vince the Gamer. I don't think Bazzi can... Oh, Bazzi tried everything he could to take out Vince the Gamer, but Vince the Gamer was in the right place at the right time, and we'll get that Ferrari-powered Ferrari, hopefully, across the line and out of a medical bed. Mercedes going back at him, but he's yeah, missing yeah. his front wing, of course, so he's got much less downforce. He can't quite go for the send. Uh, if only he had that front wing, maybe he could have got him. That's true. Kind of one little important uh, part you need, isn't it? As now we're watching... I'm GB, well, just uh, I did the honourable thing and just said Retiring by a wall for... somewhere. I, I'll <laughs> yeah. tell you what, Biggles, I think we've just witnessed the most expensive demolition derby on planet Earth. Well, aren't you lucky you have the, so the best Twitch streamers that could probably have enough subs to pay for that. <laughs> pay for the carbon oh. fiber. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course, they're only doing it for a hobby and doing it to keep everybody entertained out there. And that's a great thing that they are doing. This is a little Christmas surprise that they're doing for everybody. So the, are they aware that we're going to be recording that and sharing this with everybody later on so that they could see how uh, how well they performed? We, we are their, uh, their professors, aren't we? We're going to be grading them at the end of this. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I've already got some grades in mind. Uh, I don't know if we're going Imperial or Metric. We're we going 1 to 9 or are we doing A to F? I think we'll also like go down to the fact of, you know, uh, most entertaining. Uh, most, oh uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Who, who was like actually did drive and gain a few positions? Uh, break break it down into a couple of different factors. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, the best performer of the year, best sp sp sportsmanship. Who was the best sport sporty sportsman driver? Like who was the most popular in the community? I don't know. There's no awards, of course. Uh, one day, hopefully, we should get that, shouldn't we? The F1 Community Awards. The the F1 Community Awards. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Of course. Um, Twitch Chats Choice Awards. I don't know if you heard about this, Biggles, yeah, but it sure. got uh, rigged by the uh, late, great, not the late, great, just the great streamer, Soda Poppin, uh, who, of course, uh, rigged the entire thing. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, There's been a big uh, malarkey about it, really, because mm. he watched the uh, the awards live and <laughs> fixed the awards to the ones that he wanted to win rather <laughs> than the ones that uh, Twitch Chat wanted to win. Okay, we... Probably shouldn't be talking about that because these guys are Twitch chatters. Not to spoil it from them, of course. Of course not. They're doing a great uh, job. Still waiting for uh, the one man to get that Aston Martin across Paul Ricard. If he can find... uh, he's just having a bit of a drift off. I think he's playing uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, trying to get the uh, the skill points rather than the, the fastest time. Celebrating you know. pretty early, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. And he's only celebrating P5 on that. Well, that probably would be a good uh, finishing position for um, Aston Martin, would it not? Yes, he's uh, testing the runoff area. The, yeah. He's testing the seat. He, I think he's got, he got your call uh, there. Of course, he's, he's, he's getting yeah. Otmar's uh, tired data. Very important stuff. Yeah, Paul Just Ricard is an interesting track, isn't it? Because you don't get a lot of DNFs somehow along the line. We did here today a lot. Philly didn't need to worry about that one, did he? Uh, I think that's because the FIA was probably on holiday this weekend. But uh, not to worry, because we still had a pretty exciting race. We did. And as Michael Massey would say, uh, this is a motor race, Toto. <laughs> We're motor racing, Toto. We're motor racing, Toto. And Toto's like, excuse me? It's like, yeah. Excuse me, sorry. Did you not hear me? <laughs> We're motor beeping racing. So beep, get your beep. It. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's not get into that, of course. <laughs> There it is. So, Drive to Survive, Netflix has been here this evening and had oh, to wow. place their cameras on multiple teams, of course. Driver of the day today, I'll tell you what, for me, is Bazzi. He's made up 10 places in that absolute mess somehow. And survived the attack from all the other yep. teams. He survived the brake checking from the Red Bull team and somehow made it work, didn't he? Absolutely. Uh so it's a wolf, obviously, cheering on the absolute survival of it. But at the same time, Christian Horner probably in tears. You know what? If I if I was Christian Horner, I mean, you know that they kind of get along and don't get along. Because we're going to go to Italy, Italia, pineapple on your pizza or not. If I was Christian Horner, just as a little sneaky, like, yeah, I would send him as a Christmas present a pair of the brand new Bose headphones. Do you think that would be a little cheeky? Oh, <sighs> Brand new Bose headphones. Yeah, to well, Toto Wolf for a Christmas present. He's got to be able to do something like that. I, that, I remember I, and on top watching... Of it, those, uh, little, those little, sorry, those little wheels, like some little hard tyres 
or something that are worn <laughs> as well <laughs> on top of it as a bonus consolation Christmas. Because I'm sure Tanner Wolf could do uh, certainly plenty of other things where Red Bull have gone wrong during the year. It depends <laughs> on how cheeky you want to be. Because if I was Christian Horner and I really want to agitate Toto, I might just send him one page of the... Uh, Formula One sporting regulations, uh, particularly the page including uh, Rule 14.12, which includes the rule that uh, Mercedes protested in the final race in Abu Dhabi uh, oh. to claim for staffing was cheating. Nice. Uh, that's what I would send. So frame it, uh, just that page, put it in a nice frame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Signed uh, by maybe the team as well. There you go. <laughs> uh, the, a framed decision <laughs> that the FIA will not make any action on that. Uh, we can, we can laugh about it. You got to remember too. At the end of the day, Mercedes did. I mean, I was. I mean, Toto was like gutted. And he, like uh, the interview recently, when there was somebody who was even referring to Michael Massey, he's like, he contact Michael Massey. He's like, no, no. He's like, we're not in contact. So, and I'm like. You got to remember, my friend, Mercedes. You did wrap up the constructors' championship. You, as a team principal, that is your job. You want exactly. Mercedes to win the championship. Now, your driver winning the championship or not—that's oh, a bonus. But you're the top step. You got the most points, and you won the championship. Why be gutted about hey, that? From a business standpoint, you're saving money because you don't have to pay out the driver bonus. Yeah, uh-huh. that, that's it. Well, you know the, the team. Well, the team bonuses. Did you know that for a fact? That each of the teams, even down to the cleaners in Mercedes, get about ten thousand quid. Each as the bonus for wrapping up the championship. Ooh. Do you wonder why they're so Boys, freaking happy? I'm getting a new job. I'm getting a new job. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They they all get bonuses per race anyway. Like and and I, I've gone through this before as well. They get like you know some of the t- 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 principles, mechanics, and stuff like that. Of course, they get about five thousand, two thousand five hundred stuff like that, depending on what they do. Even the guys that stabilize the car and stuff like that, they get bonuses if they you know the driver wins the race. Okay, well, so it looks like it's a lot. Say, uh, yeah, on top of their salary, coming up. which they get good amounts of money, of course. But then again, you know, the mechanics don't just sit there and do one job. That's their rebuild the cars and all that jazz when there's an accident. They, there's a, they, you never see a mechanic sitting around doing nothing apart from during the race while they're waiting in the, in the pit garage for pit stops or something. Other than that, now, they it, are working their butts off. Here's something I want to quickly mention just before the race starts. Do you remember back in Hungary this year uh, when... Max Verstappen lost his entire barge board and the mechanics team had to oh, yes. rebuild. Yeah. Do you think they had consultation from the engineers about how to make the barge board as clean as possible? Or do you think they just did it on a whim on their own? Because that could mean possibly the mechanics are more important than the engineers in a sense because they have streamlined and aerodynamicized the remainder of the barge board. Uh, that's interesting. It, it, it still gets FIA scrutinized. So that's why there's a certain period. That's why if you actually think it was in, in the Drive Survivor series or something where they, you know, there was a crossover period of time where they had to have a few minutes at least earlier and then the FIA will have a look at it and just have a look. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I didn't, Mercedes didn't debate it at all. They didn't debate and there was too it. Much I think it's because anyway, the day, yeah, yeah. they lost too much speed because Verstappen was fighting for, you know, the low point positions. Which in it's itself fair. is still incredible, considering he was missing a barge. Oh, ball. for sure. But anyway. Go ahead, yeah. You got qualifying at least on one lapper. It is a one lapper. Who should we follow? Should we follow Philly in the uh, the Red Bull? I think so. He's been strong, hasn't he? Absolutely. It's very hard uh, to slow uh, the car. Just one second. Here it is. <laughs> I mean, his performance, as we've seen, is been fairly strong. He's always been up there uh, fighting for those podium positions. Well, I told you he just wrapped up a championship too, and one of the one of the leagues that he's there with Mr. Odang Yang. So he's coming off a high and doing a fantastic job too. I think he's from. Damn, I'm sorry, Philly, if I don't know that. South but... Korea. No, no, no. It's, it's just a flag they're flying on. <laughs> Odang Yang lives in the states. Philly lives, but Dominican Republic, I think, somewhere along the line. Sorry, Philly, if I get that one wrong, double confirm it. I know he's somewhere around there. I should know. You should know. Yeah, can't but believe you don't know Biggles. But they're under the Korean flag for now, of course, but they're not. None of them living in South Korea. A bit like me, I'm not in South Africa at the moment, but it is somewhere there if you look on my records deep enough. <laughs> yep, pity you can't but, play cricket. Uh, of course. <laughs> no, well, oh. I can't do any sports, I'm afraid. Well, Philly is up there, but the driver I can't pronounce. Mr. Meckler. Meckley. 
Meraki. Meraki, damn it, why can't I get it right? He's Maracas driving the Williams. He's the one <laughs> that has, uh, well, you can't see the other cars, of course, cause, but he's the one that's quickest right now through the, up through the second sector. Yes, it is. There's the hot lap graphic up there. They're purple for this man. Purple is good, especially if you're in a Williams. Let's see if you can repeat a George Russell performance for qualifying. A bang, and that's yes. up in the P1. And that's only 0 0.04, even less than that, in fact, uh, between himself and Philly. 35 thousandths of a second. About as wide as the tacos that Mr. Taco Man will give you, but a deck in P5 there, just ahead of his teammate, Mr. Derek Chocolate, Average Joe, Major. It's again, we lost a couple of people, of course, because it's they, they, not to mention all the time they have to do their Twitch streaming. And, you know, they've also got social lives, things to do. So. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and even though they're Twitch streamers, they do have uh, things outside of Twitch to, to do. But, you know, it's nice to see the people, you know, coming out and having a good time uh, in the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, some are dressed up too in those outfits, so make sure you check that one from all your favorite streamers. And if you don't have them as your favorite streamers, you can obviously sign up and follow them and then have a look at some of those outfits. I know that Yang was the old Christmas spirit. There was also one of the other drivers out there, I think. He was new to me, but he was always dressed up as a, an elf or something. So yeah, they're getting into the spirit, mate. And there is your results for the qualifying. So of course, um, P2 and P4, uh, oh dang, it's Yang and his teammate Philly. Um, Going under the South Korean flag, although we have both agreed they are not South Korean. Or are they South Korean, but no. from somewhere else? No, no, no I'm not. I mean, not too sure. But no, they're living in, in the Americas, both of them, put it that way. Taco as well, and the Americas. I think there's a few other drivers from the Americas. I say Americas and not America because people think America is in the United States, but unfortunately it's not. I live in Panama. It's part of the Americas, of course. In the central part. The very central part. I'm kind of the point yep. between the north and south, guys. So if you want to cross that line, you have to cross me first. No, you don't. There's no road, is, actually. Is Panama exactly the middle, though? Uh, no, okay, it's not. so here we are. No. Five yeah. lights. And we got a jump start from a McLaren. He's just That's gone right around Derek. everybody else. Is it? No, it's Taco Man That's, this time. No, it's Taco Man. It's a McLaren uh, thing now. Looking <laughs> behind at the main grid. We do have a pretty clean start from everybody. A couple of position changes. Oh, uh, you spoke too soon. Speak of the devil, I spoke <laughs> too soon. Absolute pileups into turn one. But Nanj, look at him. He's right on the back of average Joe. Is he going to try and move through average? I wouldn't. And he hasn't. But he has got a bit of a squiggle uh, coming up the top. And Bazzy now is trying to come through. Is average Joe going to give him the slipstream? He should do. Help his teammate through. Make sure he's solidified the position. And he has. So, oh, oh that's had a big oh. old spin. And so is the man next to him. They didn't actually make contact. They just both spun at the same time. I think they, they didn't break, um, my friend. There's a difference. Yeah, uh, Ferraris are having a bit of a disagreement with each other. But looks like they're all going safe enough with the second sector. Oh, dang, it's Yang. Uh, don't know how he managed to fall all the way back down. But he's making places fast. Is he going to make a big old move down Puan? My least favourite corner in the game by the way uh, it's just such a tricky one in terms of grip as Vince the game will tell you because he has spun there yeah so that uh, so has Dirk uh, but Takaman despite the uh, jump start is still holding P1 although I assume he will suffer a penalty at some point no no, no penalties have been issued Taco Man is the FIA race control. He's de he deemed well, it. Well, as Carlos Sainz will be saying, the stewards must be having a beer then. And that's the reason but why I believe he sent it, because he might have caught everybody else sleeping on that one, saying no, there is absolutely no rules. But Philly's got, got the pace on him. Taco Man might be the fastest man across the line, obviously, because it's the first lap. But this man, Philly, a Formula Philly, of course, he's not going to... He's like, my friend, I eat burritos for breakfast. And I eat papaya, coloured burritos for breakfast. So let's see, climbing his way up through a rouge, flat out eighth gear. And you're going to be a sitting target even without the DRS. When is he going to send it here? Uh, is Taka going to defend on the inside? That's what I would do if I was him, but he's not doing it. He's pretty much opened the door. He's not fighting that very hard. There you go. Take the position. So I wonder, is Taka planning to follow behind the slipstream and make a pass later on in the lap? Or is Taco conceding the position to Philly? 
unfortunately, well, unfortunately, obviously for Taco's stream, I'm sure that'll be the debate that's at his Twitch right now, but we won't know about that. Oh, massive crash. We will know about that. Somebody's going to hospital. That's oh dang, it's Yang suffering something. Average Joe. Definitely trying to get that car back into the well, race track somewhere. I'll tell you what, Biggles. I would say there won't be any visits to hospital because these cars seem to be held together with super glue. Uh, nothing has broken off because damage seems to be off. You know what they've done is they've got that, you know, that, that, ooh, there's a car going slow as Yang got around both Bazzi and, and, Sp and Spookas, Spookats. Yeah, they, they basically, what they've done is that they've decided that we're going to attach, uh, there's an Ange going around somewhere. Oh, it's oh, gone around no. as Major Nick has gone around. Oh, oh and he got clipped as well <laughs> coming around that. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know how they have the, the, um, the, the, the tether attached to the tires so that they go flying off. They've, te they've tethered every little part of the car so that it can't go flying off. That's what it is. Just use the tether for uh -huh, everything. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's, it's, it's not rocket science, is it? <laughs> or maybe it is. <laughs> I bet Dirk Chocolate. Well, you Dirk Chocolate it. is up the back of Vince Gamer. Not literally, of course. That would be very wrong of him. But. Uh, he is looking for that place, and as is uh, IMGB, uh, three drivers who I wouldn't expect to be uh, running at the back. Perhaps they've got unlucky throughout this race so far, but of course they are going to try and turn this luck as Dirk now following up the main straight, going towards probably the most popular overtaking zone. Will he have DRS this lap? He will. Yeah. And he's got the overtake on, but he's not going to use it. He Does he think a... he can make the move without? He can send it. It's going to be a send. No. Well, he's not, not going yet. for it. Ooh. It's because he plans to spin. Oh, oh yeah. Well, somebody has. Yeah. I'm GB. See you later, pal. <laughs> oh dear. Don't you cut? Don't you try to commentate, Curse, my man, Dirk? You love words of you. Ah, Dirk's a lovely bloke, of course. He's just gonna have a big smile on his face, no doubt, in his switch stream. Oh, uh, he's going for the old switcheroo here. Is he gonna go for a poo on move? It'd be very brave of him, but I wouldn't be surprised. Poo on taking, easy never taking up. Against. They're not taking the esports line. We just got the grass, but he has <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> Well, is that is that a debate there? Did Vic, Vince the Gamer do a Max Verstappen brake check on him? I'm not quite sure. Obviously, that speed didn't look like it. <laughs> oh. uh, now, I can discuss <laughs> brake checking all day because I think brake checking is only a brake check if you do it when they're right behind you. Well, average, IMGB average slowed general. right down, and that, that was a brake check now. Just sitting on the line. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm, right watching, I'm watching the other gladiators here battling for P7 currently at the moment. Oh, there, there you go. Almost synchronized. I'd almost I'd give you a nine and a half out of ten for the synchronized spin. He, <laughs> Average Joe almost fixed that. He almost did a 360 and carried on. That would have been incredible. That could have been definitely your spin ladder of the day for the series. The spin ladder of the day. Spin ladder of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Philly's well, gone up the road, hasn't he? Just up the road, five seconds. He is basically in uh, Paul Ricard again, while everybody else is here in Belgium. And you oh know, my word, so much Oh, wow! Unbelievable. And that, oh, all credits to the safety of these cars. Absolutely. Yes, it's all carnage at the moment. They're having fun. Deck chocolate going around again. Looks like Major. Major's uh, having What's, a bit of a spin uh, the, the top end of Eau Rouge, I don't know if that's Radion or if it's the other way around. Do you, do you know that what that means? Called Radion? Actually, come to think of it, Eau Rouge? The, the Eau Rouge Radion. Eau Rouge is the Little River. Yes. And why is it called Eau Rouge? What kind of river is it? Stream. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's color I didn't think of, of red. Orange is kind oh. of red because of the iron ore or something in the soil. There you go. Come on. That's crazy. Do you But anyway, so <laughs> the, uh, the top of that corner uh, going up the hill, it's been, you know, subject to a lot of controversy recently, and uh, some fans are actually calling to change the, the historic corner. I think uh, we need to, yeah. Of course, seeing Lando Norris uh, last year have a pretty scary incident, even with the safety of Formula 1, and uh, the, the tragic loss of Antoine Hubert the uh, year before in 2019. Oh, that's two years ago now. Wow. Yeah, and a few, uh, yeah, a few, and obviously some serious accents as well. I think the call would be to bring the barriers really close so you don't have a runoff area because 
which you've seen obviously in some of those other tracks, those street circuits like Baku and stuff like that. And you hit the barriers and you don't absorb into the barriers. You kind of bounce off it and continue forward in momentum. Problem is when a car like hits that barrier deep and stops stationary, and a car's flying around, obviously up through a rouge, at flat out, and there's a car parked on the, tr on the track. You've got nowhere to go, and more chances of side impacts and other impacts of the car that aren't, I mean, designed for that sheer amount of impact. So therefore, if the car can spin, it could spin all the way essentially down the Camel Straight. It will give more time, more time, I think, for the drivers to react as they climb up through the blind spot of a rouge, and then could probably then respond to some oh. flags and stuff. Just had a bit of an accident with uh, Vince and Naraki there. But uh, then again, we're Naraki not experts. obviously not seeing Vince at the top of the hill. I see well, that. Yeah, we're not I, experts, I would so. call back with your idea to um, the pretty freaky incident in Formula 1 as well in Saudi Arabia uh, not too long ago with uh, Sergio Perez and Nikita Mazepin uh, being taken out of the incident. Uh, the safety car restarts. Of course, um, one car hitting the wall and then the rest just getting collected behind. You're right. Max. And I would argue in that point, yeah. Go ahead. it would become even more dangerous. Yeah, I just don't, you just don't know. I mean, they, they, they put these things that, that, you know, these are some of the best engineers in the world, also in the FIA and safety and stuff like that too, which is obviously the big debate with Michael Massey, but Michael Massey always in the back of his head, to me, is always putting F1 safety and his marshals and everybody else at, you know, priority and the rest of the motor racing can, can go ahead as long as that's guaranteed. So they are crunching numbers left, right, so they have computer models and simulations, they'll put it through ultimate tests, they'll run thousands and tens of thousands of scenarios of cars going through there over and over and over again with multiple different angles of accidents and all that sort of jazz, and then try to figure out what is the safest. Let the computer crunch it for you, get a supercomputer to pull that. And no doubt that it continues to today and they still are going to be trying to work out the best way to have safety. I mean, you'll always have crashes, as we just saw Ferrari evince the game almost crashes way into the pit lane. But, you know, you, you see Brazil races over and over again, when we saw many years ago with uh, Mark Webber crashing out in his tyre, and then, you know, Fernando Alonso coming around, climbing up the final couple of cores of Brazil, slamming into a tyre and causing a massive accident that could have seriously injured him. Stuff like that. You don't, haven't seen that in a while, but it's very possible. Well, occasionally in Formula 1 you do to get those things where it's just a shock you. Uh, point in uh, Romain Grosjean's incident at the end of 2020. Of course, uh, yeah. I don't think anybody expected that. No, not at all. Basie gets the driver of the day. Philly gets another race win. And a bit of a love hearts out there to all his fantastic Twitch followers as well. Congratulations, my friend. Another one of those jewels to the crown, obviously. Major knew he's getting sick of that champagne. <laughs> Spa's the one that you always want to win, even in these conditions where there was so much damage and carbon fiber all over the place. But the driver survived their way around there, and the Red Bull driver did it. But the first lap will go to IMGB in the Aston Martin. I'm. Uh, right, and yeah. looking at the grid, we've got uh, Philly P1, followed by Takaman in a Red Bull sandwich uh, uh, on the podium with Odanis Yang in uh, P3. The finalising P4 is Bazzi in the Mercedes. Uh, just missing out on that podium place, followed by Spukats, Nanj and IMGB in 5th, 6th and 7th accordingly. Uh, average Joe F1 in P8, followed by uh, the Williams of Meraki. And that ending up the points is Vince in the Ferrari. And P11 and P12 accordingly, Major Nick and Dirk Chocolates. Both of them DNFing in the race. Did you get yourself some tuckas food before, my friend? When we had a little bit of a of, of a breather. Uh, I did go and eat. I had a yeah. uh, chicken Kiev and oh. I've also had some popcorn, but I've been struggling with a kernel stuck between my teeth. Oh, you gotta love that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the old popcorn kernel, but I really get that one sorted out. The hospitality from the Twitch world. I shall get the uh, the floss once I'm done with this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's it's survivable. Yeah. You're lucky you're not on cam right now <laughs> to go to show that <laughs> one off on television, live television out there. I'm loving El Taco Man's stream that I'm watching right now because not only does he have a camera of, of the beautiful Mr. El Taco Man there, he's also got a camera of his steering wheel situation. 
his tats as well that he's tatting uh, supporting of course the man that uh, used to be in the military and i think that's almost a requirement isn't it when you're in the military to get a tat but the one thing i really love this is a very top hand right is his dog that he's got the cam on the taco dog oh, cam work. which I, i'm gonna have to check this <laughs> i don't know the name of the dog but obviously the poochie is very very happy having a lay down i guess after that race for sure I guess he's kind of used to Mr. Taco Man doing that. It might be looking like we might be very much wrapping this one up too. I think after the, how many hours now has it been? About three hours and so and change that I'm seeing Taco Man's stream going for. I'm sure you can check some of the others out there as well. As we know that Dirk Chocolate's been streaming. Everybody practically been streaming here. Mr. Average Joe there, IMGB, Vince the Gamer. A lot of just the best that there are. It looks like Taco Man's going back over to the Xbox for sure. So that, I think that'll be wrapping up, Mr. Dang, it's Yang. And that, yeah. So that's it from, what, us, my friend. We need to Certainly lay down. is. <laughs> and I need to floss. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You need to floss. As Kimi Raikkonen needs to do something else, of course. Oh, he was having a, what? <laughs> go, go there. That's it. What an event. We missed some of them my friend due to other commitments and things but we came back for a few more of those absolutely crazy races his highlights will be up somewhere along the line with us to check out and of course absolutely you can go Got back to, and check uh, out the stream to from... share that with yeah. uh, all the fans of the creators make sure everybody can see highlights from everybody else's races and uh you know all the creators coming together and really coming as a community to uh to share you know formula one 2021 as uh, you know a community so um, thank you, everybody, again, for uh, tuning in. Second time I've said this today. Uh, please check out everybody else's uh, Twitch channels. You know, check out all the leagues and everybody hanging out together. You know, it's been a great time and we do hope you come back again.